Hey guys, I'm Awesome Fusion, and this video is intended to be about what you should be doing at level 1. Now, there are pretty much two options for your team at level 1, invading or defending. Now, most of the time you can guess if you're going to invade. Strong CT on your team is a good sign if you're going to invade or not. Games can be greatly affected by what happens at level 1. If one of your buffs gets stolen and the enemy jungler gets three buffs, he's at a massive advantage. Also, at level 1, communication with your team is key. Don't be afraid to talk to them and tell them where to go or what to do, as they might not have the information to know what to do like you will do after this video. Most of the time you won't be invading, so I'll go over the defensive positions and where the jungle entrances are. So if you didn't realise, there are four entrances to both jungles. If you have someone defending at each point, then there's no way they can invade. As long as you're watching somewhere that someone else isn't, then you're doing a good job. I know you can't force your team to guard the other entrances, but it's a start making sure you're doing the right thing first. Now let's talk a little bit about invading. If no one is making the decision to invade, and you think it's a good idea, then go for it. Ping, the, ping your team and tell them where to go. Now a big mistake I see at level 1 is when people are invading, they don't let the person with the, um, the best stun or the best crowd control go first. Because if you have someone without any crowd control or any stuns going first in front, and they get spotted by the enemy, they will just run away, and you won't have a chance of getting them. So never do this and make sure your Blitzcrank or Morgana or whatever is at the front of the group and when you're going to invade as it's vital if you want to catch someone. Just communicate with your team and let them know who should be at the front if they're not entirely sure. So I want to show you guys some of the best routes to take while invading. I won't go over the best route for each jungler but make an educated guess on where he's going to start. Uh, whether it's blue or red and invade in that direction if that's what you want to do. Now this is a traditional invade route, but it's been used for a very long time, but because it's so well known people usually don't fall for it anymore. Um, a long time ago used, people used to fall for this invade route basically all the time, however it's not the case anymore. Uh, just people known, have known about it for too long and it's too common knowledge. This route is usually countered by the enemy team rushing into mid, like one guy and seeing you entering the brush into, uh, into their jungle. This next route is still very well known, but I've had the most success with it. Often you catch people hanging around in their buffs and get an easy first blood. The best way to avoid getting caught here is just to be really aware and have exceptional reactions when they start rushing in. Here's some footage of a little trick I like to do if you're purple side. More often than not you can sneak into the brush near their golems, wait for them to start doing it and get a free kill. I know this clip is with um, with a pre-made team, but you could still do the same thing in solo queue. And I really think you, you guys should try it out and let me know what you know what kind of um, experiences you had with it. That's all I have to say about level 1 for now guys, but keep tuned, there will definitely be more of these. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and while you're at it, you might as well go check out my Facebook. 